Hello everyone, I'm so excited to share with you this video. It's very nice to see Unity that have developed finally a great water system that is so realistic and cinematic and have a lot of features and all what you need to create realistic cinematic scenes and video games. This new water system enables you to add oceans, rivers, and underwater effects to your game environments. You can create realistic waves, ripples, foam, and more, as well as simulate underwater environment with advanced caustics, refractions, and reflections. So in this video, I will show you how to install the new water system, how to prepare your render pipeline to render it correctly, and give a brief about the most important feature of this water system. This is Ramez Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. This video is sponsored by Unity. If you are watching this video before 2nd of June, you are so lucky because it's Unity Asset Store Spring Sale where you can get all those assets for 50% discount and even 70% if you catch them on the flash deals. So let's go to the Unity Hub and go to install and make sure that you installed Unity 2023.2 which is in the alpha phase currently by the date of recording of this video. But if you don't want to install the alpha version, you can wait till June where Unity will release their long term support version, the 2022 LTS version that includes a bunch of new features and including this water system. You can find more information about the Unity 2022 LTS version in the link down in the description. Then let's go to project, create a new project and choose the 3D HDRP template and name your project. I will name it water system tutorial, then create project. So here we are in Unity 2023.2, the alpha version. We can go to Window Package Manager and make sure that we are on the HDRP version 16. This version contains the water system in it and simply to add the water system to your scene, we right click in the hierarchy. We will find a new menu called Water, have all the elements related to the water system. As you can see, we have many surfaces, the ocean, sea or lake. We have the pool and the river. But for today's video, we will focus on creating an ocean. The other tools helping adding more uh, elements to the water like the excluder, deformer, foam generator, we will go through them quickly later. So for now let's create a new ocean and once you place that in the scene you will not note anything rendered. It will say for you enable the water system in your HDRP asset to simulate and render water surface in your HDRP project. Click here open, it will automatically open the project settings and will go to the quality HDRP 
and will take you to the water section where you need to enable the water but you will not see anything rendered yet in the scene because you need to go to the sky and fog volume it's usually named volume but currently it's configured to render only the sky and the fog we need to add the water rendering to it so we click add override and we type water rendering then we set state to enabled and let it go we can see now the water started to be rendered in the scene to keep things fun and more focus on the visuals we can download their uh, sample scenes from from the package manager you can go to the hdrp and go to samples go down to water samples and import them to the scene to the project then we'll go to water samples and select scenes then select the island the island scene is the island i used or the scene that i used to create the cutscene but with some more modification and replacing the models with high quality models also it will help you to enable the appropriate things in the settings to render the water correctly so here it will ask us to render the water which we rendered previously render the deformation render the water foam script interactions decals for rendering decals on the surface water screen space reflections and transparent screen reflections also volumetric clouds just for beautifying the scene more so here is this water surface that they are created here is the water mask the water mask is masking the waves and everything happened in certain area so for example you can see the water inside this mask it's a circle if we enable it we only render the water or the waves outside that mask inside we don't render so let's remove the mask you can see the big waves even entering the shore area let's return this back here the water is settled and not affected by the wave settings you can control the swell how the waves moves and the wind speed to create a windy or stormy ocean how chaotic is your ocean the orientation of the waves the speed of the current and also the current map to how the waves moves in which direction if you check this it will guide where the waves moves from the light to the dark areas also here you can control the waves there are two levels of waves that form the final shape of the waves so also controlling those allows you to reach the desired results here we can also enable the ripples which is essential for rendering the water in a good view without it it looks very low quality and adding it gives the realism of the water here you can also control the local wind speed and how chaotic are the ripples then we have the deformation which controls where the water is deformed so here in the water deformers we have the wave deformer it's a component that you can add to create waves easily and deformation for the water by right click water deformer you can choose from box box wave shore wave sphere and texture so let's create shore wave here it will automatically create the waves for you and they are already created uh, using this scene in this scene so here we have three water wave deformers that creating those nice waves on the shore you can try also other types of deformers you can try the sphere and maybe lowering the amplitude it gives some feelings maybe we can try the box one and it will be nice for creating waterfalls so it's up to your imaginations to reach what you want next we have the material of the water for that you can create custom shaders to render the water the way the way you want for this video there is no waves or no foam on the shore if you change that to another material that comes with this packs choose the river material this one will give you a foam at the edges of the ocean and i like that it gives more realism then you can control the smoothness of the water where it starts where its end the refraction how refracted is the view under the water and how far the absorption of water the more absorbed the more uh, transparent then you can control the scattering subsurface scattering to give the waves a uh, different light thin surfaces here are another controls for the light the direct light of the water 
the light body term all of those are nice to be experiment with maximum height override and another great feature is the caustics which give those nice light underwater scene and of course you need to enable underwater to get this nice view underwater without it you don't get this underwater view and here is also the foam with it you get a great feeling and forms on the water that gives it a realism in this scene actually we can talk about the excluder the excluder doesn't render something so for example the boat it have water excluder here to not render the water inside the boat if i move the boat here inside the water we can see the water rendered inside but if we add to it the water excluder it will not render the water inside it let's talk about the foam generator so for example here we can add foam generator maybe a disk okay foam generator so it will render a disk of foam wherever you want it's good for rendering foam around a game object maybe behind this boat when it moves and finally we can check this fit to water surface burst which keeps any game object at the surface of the water it is okay feature but not good as buoyancy but maybe if you want i can create a full tutorial how to create realistic buoyancy and for the cutscenes that i created i just replaced the assets with some, with some more high quality assets i'll provide you with the list of the free assets that i used in the description also i improved the quality of the textures to have a better textures and yeah i replaced this boat also and here you go the change of the uh, sunlight will affect everything in the scene and of course all the water surface parameters has been animated during the cutscene you can go to the game here timeline the game here and you can see everything rendered based on the cinema machine timeline and that's it for today's video if you enjoyed what you watched don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell so you keep updated with high quality content and tutorials we are deeply thankful to our supporters on patreon who keep encouraging us to create such a content if you become a patreon of course you can download all our project files since the beginning of this channel until this day till next video see you soon